You guys ready? All right, let's talk about the size of operator. The size of operator determines the size in bytes of a variable, data type, class, objects, etc. Whatever you would like to find the size of, you stick within the parentheses of the size of operator. Here's an example. Let's create a double. Double GPA. Our GPA will be a solid 2.5. To determine the size in bytes of my variable or a data type, I will just place within the set of parentheses. I'll display this. Standard output size of operator, I would like to return the size of my GPA variable. Then I'll just add a string. Bytes. New line. Let's take a look. The size of my GPA variable is 8 bytes. That's the maximum size allocated to my double variable. If I was to replace GPA with a data type, such as double, well this would be the same, 8 bytes. This will be helpful in the future when we begin working with arrays. So let's try a couple other variables. I'll create a string, standard string name. Assign some name. Then I will find the size of the string. Size of name. The size of a string is 32 bytes because a string really just holds an address to where some text is located. The address of where the string of text is located is 32 bytes. Even if I were to change the size of the string, Bro code is awesome. Well, this size is still going to be the same, 32 bytes. Because a string is a reference data type. Let's try a couple other examples. How about a character? Char grade. My grade will be an F. I will find the size of this character, grade. The size of a character is one byte. Let's try a Boolean. Boolean student. Is somebody a student? True or false? I'll place student within the size of operator. A boolean variable also takes one byte of memory. This time let's find the size of an array in bytes. I'll create an array of characters. Char grades. This will be an array. I'll set this equal to some grades. A, B, C, D, then F. I'll place my array within the size of operator. The size of this array, grades, is 5 bytes. Remember that characters take up 1 byte of memory. An array of 5 characters would be, well, 5 bytes. We can use the size of operator to calculate how many elements are within an array. If we have the total size of our array, we could divide this by the size of one element. Size of grades at index of 0, or otherwise we can find the data type. We'll divide the size of my array grades divided by the size of a character. So I should have these many elements, 5 elements within my array of grades. If I were to add one more grade, like an E, even though that's not a typical grade, well then the total elements within that array would be 6 elements. That's a useful trick to calculate the size of an array, how many elements are within that array. One more, this will be a bonus question. I'll create an array of strings. I'll name this students. We'll enter in some student names, such as Spongebob, Patrick, then Squidward. To calculate how many strings are within this array, how many students we have, we can find the size of my array students divided by the size of a string. I have three elements within this array of students. Then I could add one more. And this equation should calculate that. I'll add Sandy. Size of students divided by the size of a string would give me four elements. So yeah, that's the size of operator, everybody. It will return the size in bytes of a variable, data type, class, objects, all sorts of things. It will be really helpful when working with arrays because we can determine the size of an array. But we'll get some practice with that in the future. And well, yeah, that's the size of operator in C++.